Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we had a question, and I suppose I've probably covered this before but not for a year or so. Uh, how do you actually install WordPress? Well it's a pretty good question if you don't know how to do it and it's pretty easy. Um, most hosting providers, when you have a website, you have to have a hosting provider and there's plenty of them out here like Bluehost, HostGator, InMotion, A2, Green Geeks. I use Webhost Python if anybody wants to check that out. I'll put the link down below. It's super fast. GoDaddy, HostIgniter, iPage, DreamHost, WordPress Engine and the lists go on. Now most of them will provide you with, with a service that you can install WordPress automatically. For instance, if I go to my cPanel, and most of these hosting providers will uh, work with a cPanel type setup like this, it couldn't be easier. Literally, go down to software. It may look slightly different, but they'll, they'll have pretty much the same things. We'll go down to software. Under software, you're going to find WordPress. There's WordPress right there. I'm going to click on it. And there's an option to install it now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Now it asks you where you want to install it. If you've got no other sites on there, you'll want to just install it at your root directory. Um, yeah, your main root, which mine is system22.net there. If not, you can create a directory for it. Let's create a new directory and let's just call it new WP for new WordPress. You can give your site a name there if you want to, if you have one ready already. And we want to put a password in here. And what we'll say is I'll use new WP as the username. And you can get them to generate a nice strong password here and it's pretty important that that you have a strong password it really is so I'm going to copy that paste it somewhere because I'm going to need that in a minute to log in and I may as well copy the username I'm just copying these to a little text file so I've got them for when I need them in a moment uh, language English that's fine I'm not going to add any additional plugins or additional themes or anything like that. I'm going to go straight down the bottom and hit install. Now this take, may take a minute or not. My, that was very quick. I use uh, solid state drives on this particular hosting so it is pretty quick. Now it's telling me it's been restored, system22, my root domain, in a subdomain or a directory called new WP that we set up. And we can get there by going to system22 new WP WP admin. So if I click on that, it should take us to it. And there we are. We've got a brand new install of WordPress. We're at it right away. If I take this away, it'll take us to the front end of the site and show us what we've got there, which is probably the new 2020 default WordPress theme. There we go. And once at your site, if you need to log in, I'm already logged in right here, as you can see. But it's the same with all WordPress sites. At the end of the URL, just put WP admin. And it'll take you to the dashboard or it'll take you to a login if you're not logged in and that's where you'll have to put in your username and password if i do that again if i log out that's asking us to log back in that's the wrong password there let's put in the username correct one and the correct password and log in there we go. Simple as that. Couldn't be easier. So that's a very short and sweet video. In our next video, what I'll do is I'll show you how to upload it manually if you do not have an automatic install option with your hosting provider. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. 
ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.